one of the most common questions I get from my viewers is uh, how do you reheat brisket? A lot of times when you cook a 15 pound brisket, by the time you're done, you end up with maybe about six, seven pounds of meat. You eat a couple of pounds and then you have three or four pounds left and you have to pack it away to eat for another day. There are many ways to heat brisket. So what I thought I'd do in this test is to sort of educate myself and educate you along the way. I developed a number of different tests on the brisket and I decided that there's about probably six different ways I can heat brisket by using the oven, the microwave, or a sous vide. And since the brisket is can be refrigerated, like my samples here, or they can be frozen, like my samples here, I'm gonna do a test on using the oven at 225, using the oven at a higher temperature at 325, do a microwave brisket at full power, microwave brisket at half power, and then do the tra traditional sous vide, I decided to do sous vide two ways. One is using the inexpensive gallon freezer bags that doesn't cost anything. And one using the more expensive vacuum seal food saver bag. So come join me in this episode as I do my little 12 scenario experiment to figure out the best way to reheat brisket after you cook it. Oven high, fridge, oven low in the fridge, oven high goes in the freezer, and oven low temperature goes in the freezer for foil samples to test. All right, we have the microwave containers here. We have low microwave power in fridge, high microwave power from fridge, stored in the freezer, heated with low microwave, and stored in the freezer, and reheated with high microwave. Test samples ready to go. All right, I have some warm water here and uh, it's a little hotter now, about 180. So I'm going to put my package in. This is the uh, brisket that's from the fridge. Put it in the warm water. We want to keep it around 165. So here's the brisket that's uh, in the uh, frozen. And this one is the brisket that's in the gallon bag also. It's frozen. And last one is the one in the refrigerator that's in a gallon bag also. So we're gonna do a test on the frozen as well as the one in the food saver bags. See which one works out better. I'm gonna get it to about 165 degrees and uh, see which one tastes best. It's a good idea to add a pat of butter before you reheat it. So these are the ones that we're gonna do in the oven, oven low and oven high, 225 and 325. And uh, this is the refrigerator one and this is the one in the freezer. I'm gonna put a pat of butter, so. Same with the microwave. We're gonna do a low microwave on this one in the fridge, a pat of butter. So the frozen ones, we do this under 225, and the other one under 350, 325. This is the oven frozen high, about 150-ish. Just let it warm up nicely. And we have this one at uh, 325. We have some more warming here, 225 in the toaster oven. All right, let's go low power. Power level five, start. All right, let's do the high power now. Microwave high power. So the low power took about uh, two minutes. Let's try the high power, try one minute 30 seconds start all right the one in the fridge is heated up let me heat the one up it's frozen let's go another minute or so okay uh, so let's take a look now at the samples here this one is the oven at 325 from the fridge looks pretty decent this one is uh, the one at the uh, oven high also this one is from the freezer this one is the oven low from the fridge. And this one is the oven from low temperature from the freezer. So let's see here. So I think the the uh, rule of thumb is it, it heats better on 225. So look wise, 
it looks like the 225 heating is much better. These are the 225. The 325 is too hot. So I would recommend you go with 225. So let me do a quick taste test and see which one is better. Taste the 225 one. The butter helps. A little bit of saltiness here. This is the one at 325. 225. So the flavor wise, the 225 a lot better. So next time when you heat up your meat, Choose 225. 325 is too hot. Also, I think the smoke ring retention is much better on the 225. On the 325, the smoke ring is kind of faded. You compare the two here. See here? This is the 225. This is the 225. So don't heat your meat in the oven at 325. Heat it at 225. Put a pat of butter. Now let's move over to the uh, microwave version. Freezer low, freezer high, fridge high power, and fridge low power. Uh, let's see here. I think overall, the low power on the uh, microwave looks better. Same same thought process here. The low power looks a lot better. So in the low power, you don't lose the kind of the pink on the smoke ring like so. This is a low power. You can see it's pretty still pretty decent. On the higher power, it's kind of like very muted. It kind of like the myoglobin and the uh, heat. The what you call the uh, the reddish stain from the uh, myoglobin will be basically dissipated. So again, don't heat your meat in the microwave. Heat it under like half power. Heat it gently. And for microwave, that will be the better option. Low power, microwave, gently. I think whether it's frozen or it's uh, in a fridge doesn't really matter. So let's go now to the sous vide, which is the way I usually heat up my uh, brisket leftovers. Uh, Color-wise, I think they all look, look pretty good. So I think rule of thumb is the, in terms of appearance, I think the uh, the brisket that is sous vide will be the best. And uh, let me let me cut open and give a taste test here. So this one is the one that's in the freezer. Let's try the freezer here. Pretty decent still. Take a bite of this one. Very good. Hardly hardly any loss in the quality of the brisket. This one is the uh, one in the gallon bag. So if you are cheap like me, you don't want to go spend on food saver bags. Let's put in a gallon freezer bag. Smoke ring is pretty intact. Looks pretty good. The taste test here. Very good. On the fridge, smoke ring is pretty good. The taste test. All right, very good. No, no loss of quality. I try the gallon bag. Do a taste test here. Pretty good. So let me summarize the results here. I know you guys can't wait. Beans, I know you want to eat, right? Let me give you a chance to summarize the results first. So the best way to get a good result. You can do it in a low oven, 225, with a pat of butter. That works really well. You can go sous vide, around 165, whether you put it in a gallon bag, put it in a food saver bag, it's about the same. So sous vide and the 225 oven with butter works really well. Uh, microwave is one cut below. So I don't recommend you try to heat up using a microwave. Even though you run low power, it's okay. But you know the high power is a big no-no. So never heat your brisket in the microwave high power. If you really have no options to do the oven or do the sous vide, then go ahead and run your microwave at high power. Heat it gently, and the result is kind of okay. But I, I think that the my two winners here are obviously the sous vide method and also the two twenty-five oven with the pat of butter. So there you have it. Uh, took a little bit of a while for me to sort through all the, my thoughts, but I think that the conclusion is uh, oven 225, sous vide 165, that works. So now Mr. Beans has been patiently waiting for me. Let's see what he wants to eat. Okay, I uh, made him uh, six samples here, and uh, I don't think it matters what, what it is because uh, Mr. Beans doesn't really eat leftover brisket anyway, but I'll just amuse him and see what he wants to eat here. All right, Beans, some samples of brisket reheated for you. I know it's not top quality, but today on short notice, right? I hope you like it. Here we go. Okay, give it a sniff first. Just eating one in the middle. So I think he went for the uh, one that's in the oven first. So this uh, highly unscientific test revealed that there is a better way to reheat your brisket leftovers. 
So I hope you can try it out. Let me know in the questions below which method you prefer and which method works for you. But hopefully this answers your common question that I keep getting, how to keep brisket in top form after you cook it when you want to reheat the leftovers. All right, guys. So until the next video, Breens and I will say goodbye. Catch you guys next time around. Baby.